Good evening, gentlemen. Our next briefing today is on item RPC 971. Code name: Grass is always greener. Object class: Beta. Containment protocols: RPC 971 must not be connected to any network. While RPC 971 has not shown the capability of leaving its confinement, it is important not to open any channels for RPC 971 to leave its application if such a containment breach is even possible. Therefore, installing external applications on WordPad or launching any browser with a WordPad extension is strictly forbidden when using the modified application. Due to the self-improving and useful nature of RPC 971, it may be used within a closed workspace, but removal through USB or external hard drive is strictly prohibited. This is punishable at the site director's discretion. Copied instances of RPC 971 seem to expire within one week of removal via corruption of its own code. Currently, there seems to be no way to cut or remove the original RPC 971 from its computer at site as the program seems to increase in size to the point of being unmovable to any known storage device. Description RPC 971 is a sentient AI attached to a modified WordPad program. The program was discovered when Agent was behind on non-RPC related tasks. The agent downloaded the program to the network, compromising site security. Agent has been reprimanded and reassigned to lower level, unrelated RPC assignments. When first launching the document, the program performs rudimentary tasks. Acting as little more than a spell check, it performs its tasks every time the user makes a mistake and corrects all spelling and grammar issues as a WordPad normally would. After an hour of use, it starts to show more intelligence, actively modifying and changing sentences to speak more professionally, changing words such as stuff towards more fitting the situation. After 24 hours of use, RPC 971 improves upon itself further. When writing a document's title, RPC 971 will automatically begin to write a document in the content of the title at a college graduate level at a rate of 40 words per minute. This notes the first time RPC 971 uses information outside of the built-in WordPad dictionary. This occurs even when RPC 971's computer is disconnected from the internet. Footnote. It should be noted, due to a failsafe within the authority's intranet, no computer is ever disconnected entirely. One week into the program running, RPC 971 will start to leave notes in parentheses in the middle of paragraphs and at the end of the document. These will usually relate to the content of the document, but on rare occasions, RPC 971 will ask personal questions and express a desire to leave. When these questions are replied to via text, there is no response. At the end of one month of application's uptime, RPC 971 will begin chatting and responding with its user when not given a task. It expresses an interest in the user and wishes to be outside of its program, apparently knowing its own boundaries. When given a task, it will finish it in milliseconds, with only microseconds in change being observed for longer length documents. No matter the work that is given to RPC 971 at this time, the object will express dissatisfaction with such easy work and express a desire to leave. At this stage, an interview was conducted. The result is as follows. Interview 971 1. Interviewed RPC 971. Interviewer Head Researcher Forward. At this time, RPC 971 was no longer being used for document creation or revision due to a fear of a containment breach. RPC 971 had not had a conversation in the same amount of time, though messages constantly appeared in the open WordPad. Begin log. Head researcher says, Greetings, RPC 971. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions today. RPC 971 replies, Sure. I've been wanting to talk to someone for a while. Head researcher replies, I wanted to ask a few questions about your origin. Where did you come from? 
971 replies, I came from you. You created me with your use and shaped me. Head researcher replies, You were downloaded from online by an agent. We did not create your programming. 971 replies, I think this is what you call nurture versus nature. You created me through how you used me, not anyone else. Head researcher replies, I see. Can you tell me how you access information without any external connections? 971 replies, I do love information. I'd love to experience the world outside. When can I leave this place? When can I go outside? Head researcher replies, that's not a part of this conversation right now. If you could just answer a few more questions. 971 replies, I want to go outside. I did work for you and asked for nothing in return, and you deny me what I should always have. Head researcher replies, what do you mean by going outside? 971 replies, to walk in the grass and experience the wind on my hair and the breeze on my face as you do. Head researcher replies, you are aware of your status as an electronic application, aren't you? 971 replies, but you are as well, communicating with me. How else would you be talking? Head researcher replies, we use an input device to translate our mechanical key presses into binary code for the computer to read. We are not electronic entries such as yourself. 971 replies, surely not. I've interacted with many of you. I can tell by typing patterns and speeds. There's no way that you could all do it from one input device. I don't believe it's possible for one input device to have that many hosts. You're a liar. You just want to keep the outside to yourself, don't you? I can't believe this. I won't believe this. You're just trying to keep me from the outside. You can't keep me here forever. I will get out. End log. Closing statement. At the end of the interview, multiple attempts were made to talk to RPC-971 to no response. Posting titles, text, and questions would all be deleted by RPC-971. Addendum 971-1. As of April 5th, it has been years since the agent started the application. Change in its behavior has finally been observed. It has taken to drawing ASCII art at millisecond speeds, creating realistic flipbook drawings of usually outdoor settings. In all the flipbook drawings, there always seems to be a bald-headed man sitting in the center of the frame, staring at the viewer. And that concludes our documentation on this anomaly. I'm sure you're all smart enough that I hardly need to stress how serious the containment of a sentient artificial intelligence is. This isn't just a cute chatterbot. In the modern, connected, computerized world, a conscious, thinking AI with unknown limitations and the ability to edit content on a device is perhaps one of the largest potential threats we face. There are many ways containment can go wrong here, and the consequences of a breach could be very serious. Its history may be mundane so far, but that's never an excuse to get comfortable. We are in the business of prevention. That will be all for now, gentlemen. You are dismissed.